Hi there, and welcome to Draw With Me. I'm Danny Gregory, and every Thursday, <clears throat> we get together here and we draw stuff. Um, it doesn't really matter how well you draw, how well you paint. It's kind of irrelevant. The main thing is to just have some time to do it, to relax, to decompress, to maybe practice, to have a new challenge, to expand yourself as a human being. Um, speaking of, here's JJ. Well, hi. I didn't mean to imply that you're an expanded human being. I, I just feel expansive. Expansive, that's good. It's yeah. Thursday. It's mini Friday. Mini Friday. Of a long weekend. Is it a long weekend? Well, yes, it's, it's Easter. Oh, of course. For those who celebrate. And, of course. Uh, yeah, a lot yeah. of people have tomorrow off, I'm hearing. That's very nice. <clears throat> well, we plan to take the weekend off. We are taking, we're actually going to leave the house, depart the casa. We got our tire fixed yesterday in order to drive to uh, 29 Palms, which is in Joshua Tree, California. That's We're going to meet the kids. It's going to be really fun. I'm so excited. <coughs> so, so yeah, next week we'll probably be drawing Joshua Trees, if I had to guess. <laughs> mm. Well, so <clears throat> speaking of last week, we did some amazing puppets. I, they are, and the compositions really thrilled me. I think yeah. everyone brought a little something different, a little... I like Personal when, yeah. take. I like to see is sometimes people just do it really quickly and there's a lot of energy to it. But then there's some that people have clearly worked on mm -hmm. all week long. And I think that that's just so nice. I'm so I'm so chuffed to see that. That's really good. So, um, yeah, so let's let's see who's here. We've got some people from all over. We've got... Um, I saw Indonesia. Indonesia. I saw India. I saw well, Slovenia. I saw a brunette lady here for the first time. From Kuwait. Oh, very cool. Um, and uh, yes, Phobos Anomaly from Slovenia. Right, welcome. Um, Daksha Girl. Oh, Daksha Giri, excuse me, from India. Welcome. And uh, Cindy from Florida. And Rusdell from France. So lots of people from lots of places. Uh, it's really nice. To yeah. It's nice to know that, you know, that, that this is a common global phenomenon this love of drawing so. and and so many friends that uh i just love seeing your name Reg pop up i feel like we folks. get to have a hug have a hug from oh czech, czech republic uh, yeah all and, good uh and of course poland uh, ali shah from planet x and planet x you know sometimes i feel like uh we're living on planet x x interesting x, place v from poland and darth v from southern Ontario. Good. Well, good. So, <laughs> what are you laughing at? I have no earthly idea. I, I mean, you shouldn't be drinking this early in the day. Um, so, yes. So, today we are going to do something a little different. We got an email from somebody who said, Please, will you draw turtles? And uh, her name is Mona Philpot, a.k.a. Moonbeam. And she sent. She said she's been drawing turtles a lot, and she wanted to see how other people did it. So this is one of her pieces called Jalapeno Pizza Back Turtle. And this is a different one called... <laughs> Pizza Back. Yeah, Tiki Bar Turtle. So I was inspired by that, and I thought, you know what, we've, I don't think we've ever drawn turtles before. I can't think that we have. I mean, we have definitely done... Drawn frogs. Frogs. We've done uh, an alligator. Uh, yep, we've definitely done an alligator. But yeah, this is our first frog. It's the first, so. it's the first of a turtle. Yeah. It's good. Uh, Jiva says she's going to draw her own turtle. That's very nice. Yeah, so I have this turtle here that I found. This is a... a I think it's called a box turtle. We used to have a box turtle. Did you? Yeah. Uh, when, was it Jack? When Jack was a little kid, he had uh, he wanted to have this turtle, so we got this turtle. It's a box turtle, so he decided to call it Muhammad, which I thought was like, is that sacrilegious to call a turtle Muhammad? But I guess a lot of people are called Muhammad, so I guess it's okay. But he called it Muhammad because he said, well, it's a boxer. So I said, well. Okay, like, okay I see possibly. the logic. Sort of, boxer, Muhammad Ali, boxer, box turtle. <laughs> anyway. Uh, a lot of people here in Arizona have desert tortoises. Yes, our neighbor has one who 
he He's thought escaped and he put out a big alert for it. This turtle that was like the size of a suitcase <laughs> had escaped from his yard somehow. And we were like, how is that even possible? Well, and I think the uh, a contractor left the gate open. But then he found it like six months later and it was still in his yard. It just like buried itself. So Well, they say they don't hibernate, but I think this one did. It did. Well, Frugal RV Gal says, I used to have about 15 turtles in my backyard. I loved them and they were very entertaining. That was probably before she was an RV Gal. Probably entertaining. Yeah, they're cute, I think. Um, oh, people are saying it's a painted turtle. Yes, that makes sense. It's a painted turtle, not a box turtle. So, um, But yes, thank you for identifying it. And um, It's a red-eared slider, slider turtle. A, a I believe Mariana, she said that with authority. So did Lisa Stewart. So okay. she, she had said it at first, so Got she it. gets credit. Okay. Um, so yes, and uh, Aunt said we had a pet turtle who had a diving board, so we called him rock turt yeah i think um so we we have a poll going on how's the poll going let's have a look at the poll the poll is yurtle 23 percent mutant ninja 31 percent versus hair 37 percent and gamera nine percent i'm embarrassed to say i don't know gamera gamera um from um godzilla so that's probably why the low percentage, because I think maybe Gamera got lost in the Well, then mix. he couldn't be your favorite if you don't know who he is. No, so, I clearly so didn't vote okay. for him. Yeah, so. that's fine. So uh, I, versus Hare is, uh, is, at least so far, the fastest or is winning. So Ironic. Ironic indeed. So, yeah, all good. Um, all right, should I end it? No, I think we should keep going and okay. see. Okay. The finish line is at the end of the show. So if you haven't voted, got it. get in there and vote. All right, so let's let's think about this turtle. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I I made a couple of versions so we can have a look at him. Like, oops, not that. Um, so we can look at him. Do you think you're going to do more than one today? No, I only have this one turtle. I want to okay. get kind of get into him. Get in it. And I'm inspired by uh, Moonbeams turtles to think like let's let's go get a bit crazy. I mean, this is a crazy looking creature in the first place, right? So I have a picture of his back that we can look at closer. I see. I have his front that we can look at closer. Whoops, that's the same thing. Um, there's the front. So that's the front. So we, so we can kind of get into him and look in more detail. So I'm thinking maybe start with the front. If you're at all intimidated by this, this is, you have full permission to just go nuts. Well, also, Nancy points out you have to draw slowly. Good. I put very good point. Draw slowly. Um, you know, no rabbits. Sometimes we'll draw rabbits. That could be fun. It will draw we'll draw them quickly, and we'll draw lots of them. It's more of an Easter thing, isn't it? Yeah, that's a good point. But it is Easter, so we're drawing turtles. <laughs> As usual, makes sense. Welcome to draw with me. Mm -hmm. um, so, all right. So, I'm thinking I'm going to draw with. Yeah, I think that I just randomly picked this draw liner, but that is probably what I'm going to use. And I think I'm going to start, as I said, at the... At, so if you want to draw the whole thing... And you, you said you're going to just do the one. We're going we're just deep, drawing going one. deep just on drawing one, one red-eared slider maybe, du jour. Maybe color will come into it. But uh, if you want to draw the whole thing, there's the whole thing. But I'm going to focus on the front end, the business end, as they say. Well, they say business in the front, fun in the back. Uh, yeah, party in the back. Party in the back. So That's this a is the mullet of turtles. So yeah, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the suggestion and just go slow. So I'm starting at the back of his head, where it joins the shell, and I'm drawing its face. I heard having some. Yeah, I, I was worried that I hadn't positioned it on the page right, but. Um, his, little, his snout is kind of sticking up in the air. He's sniffing. Sniffing? Or maybe he thinks he's better than us. No, he's sniffing. He smells something good. Some goodies. Some delicious grasses blowing on the wind. What do they eat? Chicken? That's disgusting. They're not... Are they just, are they just vegetarians? I bet you they eat bugs. I don't think they eat chickens, regardless. Yeah, that's true. Oh, interesting. 
a frugal RV gal who had a whole platoon of turtles fed them cat food. You see, I'm not wrong. Oh, Gina Z had a good idea. She's going to use a magic pencil for this. That's a nice that idea. Yeah. You're a big fan of the magic pencil. I do. I think they're joyful. Yeah, this, there's so many kind of patterns and things like that in oh, him. No, they do. They eat chickens. There you go. I had a feeling. Dang. I don't know if they eat chickens. Do you think they? And Para, ironically. Kara said they eat whole chickens. <gasps> So our neighbor, who we just mentioned, he his girlfriend lives next on the other side of us. <laughs> They're cute. They have uh, adjacent homes. I mean, is that not really like the complete ideal <laughs> to have a like committed are loving partner? Are you trying to tell me something? Homes? Are you trying to tell me something? Go ahead. <laughs> buy, literally feel, across the street from each feel other. Feel free to buy a house. <laughs> you can invite me over for dinner. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we. Speaking of chickens, they have chickens. The chickens were going berserk the other night. Berserk at 9 o'clock at night. Which is unusual. Yeah, so we, call, we texted him and said, uh, something's up with the chickens. And he went over to his girlfriend's house and said that he had seen a fox on the way. So We do. We have uh, gray foxes here in our, in our yard, in our neighborhood. But it might have been a turtle that was coming for the chickens very, very slowly. <laughs> Do you have a magic pencil that you could show? I was looking to see if I had one in my pen dish. You, you know what? They might be in that jar up on the shelf. Uh, I careful know, but with I'm, your mic. I'm, I'm they might be. They might be back there. I'm tethered. On the bookshelf. <laughs> oh, oh, my no. goodness. Wow. All right. Jay, All right. You, you may have to leave for a second. Be right, right back. <laughs> There are turtles at the door. Turtles all the way down. So this is fun to do because, because there are so many what I would call landmarks on this turtle. There's all these um, different things that you can gauge where you are in the drawing. All these lines and stuff like that. You know, it's like I'm sure you've done that you did the thing when you were a kid where you broke something down with a grid. Here's some here's some uh, magic pencils. So you see how they have all the different colors in wow. one? Twigs. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, I've drawn with them a few times. I'm not I, I like them conceptually. I just it's it's too too out of control for me. I'm a control freak. So um as I was saying, when you draw from a grid, it's helpful because it shows you where everything is and what the relationships is. But, but you can often find things that are that f have the same function um, in nature or in, in in anything. You can just if you if you slow down and pay attention, you will see that there are things you can use as landmarks. So you don't get lost in your drawing, and uh, you can also compare the measurements and the relative shapes and sizes of different parts of what you're drawing. If this, if what I'm saying intrigues or confuses you, I did make. Uh, one of the how to draw tutorials uh, talking about some of this stuff. Hey, what size is your uh, draw liner you're using? This is an O3. Yeah, it looks nice and thin. I love a thin. It's line, not the thinnest. They go down to O5. But I find that certain sizes of, of draw liners and other uh, pens like this, they just kind of conk out. I don't know what it is. Like O2s often are very temperamental. Just suddenly or stop working or the, the kind of fibrous nib just feels bad in your hand so I don't know yeah this is this is a lot of tracery which is fun to do I like that you're really observing and going very slowly and you're getting a good result because you're doing that yeah it's um 
You know, you may remember a few weeks ago when we did the, the upside down drawing. And uh, that was, it's a similar process because you really have to slow down. You have to just focus on each little part of the journey of drawing this thing. You can't, you can't race ahead. You have to take your time. And step, if you do it step by step, you will end up with a good result. I may not end up with a good result, but you will. <laughs> You're going to get a good result. Now I'm going to sort of branch out and deal with his arm a little bit. It's a good looking creature. What is the purpose of all these lines are? Do you camo. Think camo in the grass, probably? Like in the swampy area. But this is called a painted turtle. So it would suggest that like, it kind of has things like that red neck. That um, <gasps> There's a person in the chat named Persistent Turtle. Oh, I like it. We honor you today. Persistent Turtle. I wonder if that's uh, a given name or a family name? <laughs> she said, Comes from a long line of turtles? I think it might be my second cousin. Slow and steady. Persistence. Laura has just told a tragic story about her golden retriever eating her turtle. Oh, God. What do you do, bite through the shell? I don't want to know. Twiggy, would you do this? Would you eat them turtles? I don't think so. I could easily see a dog eating a, eating a turtle. Why not? Well, I'd probably like think of it as a toy, right? As a thing to... I would like, say they would think of them as like kind of like a burger. <laughs> they probably have an appealing smell. Well, look at these claws. I guess their claws are probably for digging, but they may have some... Def I mean, obviously they're oh, old. Oh, he, he they're said he survived and was fine. So the golden... Yeah. Suck, she said, sucked him up and spit him across the kitchen. But he, was, he lived to tell the tale. All right, I'm glad to hear it. But he told it very slowly. Slowly. <laughs> yeah, so we had this turtle, Muhammad, and then there came a point where we sort of felt bad for him. Because I'll be honest, it was sort of a boring pet. Well, sitting in an aquarium. I in mean, New I was going to say, you didn't give him much to do. He was in a, you know, in a, what like, do you give a turtle to do? Well, you could let them go in your backyard, as many in the chat we have. We don't have a. We, our back, I know. So, okay, so actually. The, what we decided to do was to take him to Central Park. and Because we, th we thought, like, what do you do if you want to get rid of a turtle? Like, do you... I you mean, the thing you're describing is probably the wrong thing, so... Well, that's not why. We saw... We'd seen turtles in the pond in Central Park. Okay, well, I, I bet there's going to be, like, a biologist or somebody in the chat who's going to be, like, smacking their head at this story. But anyway... Really? Well, all I can say is Muhammad had always moved extremely slowly, being a turtle. And then we took him to Central Park to the pond. And we just put him down to see what he would do. You know, would he like being in the grass? What he did is he immediately started running. And he ran directly to the pond and jumped in and disappeared. We never saw him again. We just saw his head about halfway in the middle of the pond, just swimming for the, for the far, either the far side or the, um, the, the gift shop that was next to the uh, Are you ready? Boat Are you house. ready to get down? Okay. I want to be quiet. So yeah, so that was Mama. And for years afterwards, we would go whenever we went to Central Park, we would go and look for him. Hope that he would kind of stick his head out of the water. Maybe by now gigantic. And uh, say hello. Flip us the bird or something. <laughs> Be like suckers. I don't think that that was a bad thing. You really do? You think that that was a bad idea? I think I'm off camera in a weird way. I can't 
figure out how to get on camera. You're on camera. All right, so I hope that you're enjoying this because it's, it is, uh, it's like doing a crossword puzzle, you know, step by step, each, yeah. each little part. When you first see it, you think, oh, I could never. Right, but you just draw, you want, draw one part, draw the next part. I mean, how bad could it be? Like, nobody's going to really know if you got a part wrong unless they're, a turtle expert. We seem to have a lot of those in the audience here today. Well, they're talking about invasive species. Somebody pointing out those terrifying pythons in Florida. Hey, Keith from uh, South Africa just jumped in. Good. Well, maybe somebody can give me an informed opinion about whether it was the wrong thing. Yeah, to do. they've said it was the wrong thing. Why? Um, because it's. It's taking over the, all right, here we go. Lisa says, the red-eared sliders aren't native and have taken over the territory of the painted turtles. And that's why you can't buy them in the pet store anymore. Well, Muhammad was a box turtle. Anyway, the point is, when you release a creature into a non-native habitat, it monkeys with the habitat and the creatures who live there. I guess that's true. Ugh, now there's going to be a discussion about those pythons. Oh, Lordy. Well, you brought up monkeys. <sighs> JJ hates snakes and monkeys. Sorabai is saying you know that is not a turtle, right? You mean the python I'm discussing? This is, you mean this is a tortoise? This particular one, I think we're saying it is a turtle, right? I hope it's a turtle. If not be embarrassing. We've, we've screwed up royally. Wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I googled turtle. It's Google's fault, not mine. We've had a lot of people identify this as a turtle, so I feel pretty confident that the, the consensus is this is a turtle, or the majority opinion is. So Andre from uh, Brazil recently had a date with his wife where they drew 10 and 20. That's a fun date. Should we do that to celebrate our anniversary, which is tomorrow? What do you mean they drew 10 and 20? You know the, the draw with me thing that we've oh, done. Oh, the 10 and 20 yeah, that yeah, are video. Yeah. Oh, I see. I, I see. love that. that is nice. Draw with me date night. We should brand that. Trademark. It's true. It's true. Draw closer together. All right, so now I'm getting into this shell a bit. Do you feel like you want to change the reference? You mean, um, well, I have the little one on the top, so. It, oh, yes, I see it. Yeah, you can, you can draw from the top one. Um. Yeah, so I'm getting, I'm almost running out of reference. Not quite, there's still, there's still plenty to draw here. And I'm just drawing basically the contour. I'm not really coloring stuff in, but maybe I will later on. Yeah, I, think, I definitely think I'll color it in because there's, there's lots of nice colors in here. Okay, I'm just going back to check in my work. And uh, I think it's pretty good. I think I got most of it right. Although this is more rounded. So Laura is asking about our wedding. We had one. <laughs> we had the best wedding. We uh, lived in New York City, and we got up on a Tuesday morning 
and we took the subway to City Hall with just Jack as our witness. It was so fun. It was just the absolute best thing ever. I mean, we'd both had previous weddings that were <laughs> more elaborate. Didn't involve affairs. the subway. <laughs> <laughs> but did involve sort of, you know, all the mandatories. And uh, we decided not to do that this time. Yeah, we said uh, easy like Sunday morning on a Tuesday. It's true. But it was great. All right, I'm switching to the back. Let's go, I'm going to the back. Just because I, uh, oops, I'm sorry if I hid this thing, but. Mark Thiele from Germany. Do we know this person? I yes, of course. Yeah, yeah, Mark. Um, he does the, the the conference. Exactly. Yes. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Nice to nice to see you. Um. Ace McFly eloped on a Tuesday. See great minds think alike. We did not elope. We had a wedding luncheon at our favorite restaurant called Mary's Fish Camp, and we had turtle oyster. We did not have turtle. We had oysters. We had mussels, we had lobster rolls, um, and then instead of wedding cake, we had hot fudge sundaes. Oh, I mean, oh. it was, and so much champers, champers up the wazoo. Yeah, it I'm was still, so fun. I'm still recovering from that. And sadly, at the time, you had shingles. Yeah, I just come back oh, from Vietnam where I had gotten shingles. Vietnam gave him a souvenir to remember it by. Oof. Poor thing. That was, those were my, my days in Nam. Yeah. You were there doing an artist residency with kids. You had the right intentions and uh, karma smacked you down. It's Vietnam. You know, you go in with the right intentions. And you the were next in thing Hanoi, you know, weren't you? In Hawaii? I was, yeah. The next thing you know, you're crippled with nerve pain. You, yeah. You still, um, you still have scars from the terrible shingles from, you had. From, um, you know, I'm going to give a PSA. How about there's a shingles vaccine? <laughs> get it if you get, can. Get it if you Trust can. Trust me. It's get better, it if you can. It's way better than shingles. And occasionally they update this vaccine. So get if there's a new one, find it, get it. You I don't think we should be giving medical advice. I'll be honest. That's there, true. There are it, people who are prefer are to have not, shingles. Great, go for it. <laughs> Now, now. All right, so this, I guess, is the, sh the shell is made of, is it like, it's like toenail material? It's like a horn, isn't it? Yeah, it's like, it's, it's because like little, little baby turtles, I mean, they do have shells, right? Baby turtles have shells, but they're very soft, right? They're like soft shell crabs. I'm, I'm, I, we need an expert to jump in the not chat here because I don't even want to, I don't want to even attempt to explain something I know literally nothing about. All right, so going back to these landmarks, you see how this is helpful? Because now I know how long, if I had just drawn this whole turtle kind of freehand, I wouldn't have known how long to make him. But because I'm just following these things, I, I'm hoping that I'm following like these circular kind of 1970s looking patterns on the side. And I'm hoping that this is going to allow me to have confidence in my proportions. Because when I get to the, this is the last one here, the last little um, chunk at the bottom, and then his foot is starting right here. So I feel pretty confident that this is good. All right, a few have uh, chimed in. The shell is made Keratin. Keratin, right. That's, so it's that's like a hair. Like toenails. Nails are made of keratin, aren't they? Mm, are they? Yeah. No. Yes, they are. An exoskeleton. Hmm. Are nails made of keratin? I don't think they are. What are they made of? Oh, gosh, I don't know. Well, they, I, don't they always in like commercials? They talk about how it's a, it's a hair product, thing. Product, it's uh, shampoos and conditioners. What are nails made of? Yeah, mostly made up of a hardened protein called keratin. Keratin is the same stuff which, which makes up hooves, claws, and horns in animals. Yeah, it's also found in our own hair and skin. 
All right, so I managed to get to the end of Yoke. him. I got to the back end, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Like this is, I've got the whole turtle now. Just gonna sketch in that part. You think you're gonna have time to add color? I think so. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. I think. I mean, I have. I want to still draw all this bit, but my main point is, I just, I did manage to get all the, the kind of main shapes of him done by just drawing. Uh, the enclosed shapes. So if you know what I mean, what I'm saying is instead of drawing, let me draw the whole turtle, by drawing piece by piece by piece like a jigsaw puzzle, you end up with the whole thing. If you're patient and just focus on each part, you'll end up with a complete turtle. And don't hold your breath. Don't hold your breath. <laughs> Breathing while drawing. So, Mark, I'm not sure if Mark's still here, but Mark invited me to speak at this conference that he gave in, um, in Berlin. Ironically, it was during the presidential election, and actually while I was there, Donald Trump was elected president. Um, so it was, it was an interesting time. But the interesting thing about this really cool um, conference, one, one of my favorite things about it was... He had a DJ who would make live recordings of the speakers, and then he did remixes of what they were saying that he would that he would play in between uh, speakers. So you'd you'd finish it, you'd finish giving your talk, and then he would take it and he would like cut up bits of it and cut words. I was going to say, did it have music too? Yes, and he would put beats into it. It was phenomenal. So it was like, it was like you became sort of like a rapper. Um, and it was just, I, I, it was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Um, and I'm, or heard. Or heard. So I'm thinking of putting out maybe a couple of 12 inches. Of just, <laughs> I think we should be doing, I think we should do that with Draw With Me. Imagine if we had, uh, we could have a DJ remixing all of our inane Pratter. Yeah, so that conference was really was really interesting, and he's been doing it for so many years now. Beyond Telerand, Telerand, beyond Telerand. It's usually it's in Europe. It's in Europe usually, but it's sort of an art and technology conference. Remember when you went to that museum that was in a bunker when you were in Berlin? Yes, I went to this museum that was at the former, it was like the SS headquarters or something in Berlin, and it had, um, it, it was a building that was made of like eight foot thick concrete, and basically after the war, they couldn't pull it down because it was so ridiculously overbuilt. And so it just sat there for a while, and then they made it into a museum, but it was a really cool museum because you could only go there like they only let i think 25 people in every day and uh so it was a very very special thing to get to go and what kind of art was it it was all it was it was all different kinds of basically contemporary art installation stuff by the way i saw richard sarah passed away he did yeah he did but you know they say rust never sleeps so he lives on. I suppose. All right, so there's my turtle. I stand by him. What do you think? I can't wait to see the color. I yeah. do think a, a magical pencil outline would be so fun. You feel like that would ruin it? I, uh, yes. I mean, it would, it would ruin my vision of it, but I'm open to it. I think I want a watercolor in though. I'm sorry, I love your, your, your uh, suggestions, but yet again, I'm gonna reject them. It's A-OK. -okay. Yeah, so we're driving to California tomorrow. And, it's going to uh, be cold. <laughs> I mean, for us, cold. it's going to be cold. It's 
like in the 50s and 60s, which, you know, that's like, okay, printer, can you just stop? Yeah, it'll be cold. But we really have not been going anywhere. Yeah, we've been homebound. We're saying we haven't slept outside of our house since November. Yeah, all right, so we're going to get there, and it's going to rain, which will be great because we were hoping to sit poolside, and so no. Uh, the high is going to be 56, the low 44. Now, I know a lot of people like Deb, our friend Deb in Wisconsin, will say that would be downright balmy. For us, we're going to have to get our like, puffy coats back out. Yeah, we're spoiled. But we're going to... Um to be in Joshua Tree, which is the name of a mediocre record, among other things, and uh, don't be rude. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to like inflict physical violence on you on camera again. So I had started this project today, expecting to kind of go wild, and yet. I'm being really conservative. It's like photo real what you're doing. You know, I th I'm trying to think why that is. And I think the reason might be that I spent a lot of time doing the drawing. And so I kind of am in that mode. You know, you get into a mode sometimes with drawing where you're just, you're in a turtle mode. I'm not in a wild, rambunctious mode. I'm in a slow and steady mode. Detroit Liz is giving us a uh, food recommendation. Oh, really? I like food. What? In, in Joshua Tree. Oh. We're actually going to 29 Palms, which is sort of on the edge. I think the last thing I'm going to do is add that bright red thing. I think that'll be the last. The last part will be to give that little red cap. It's nice, it's fun building up color in watercolors, just doing layers and layers of color. Aren't you doing something for World Watercolor Month? Is that? Yeah. When is it, July? Um, is it July or is it August? No, yeah, I think it's July. Yeah, so World Watercolor Month is something I was invited to be a part of last year. They always make a product out of a painting that I've done. So I just sent them the product that I'm, the artwork for this product. I think it's gonna be um, a bag, but they also did- um, Mugs. Uh, mugs last year, yeah. That's cool. Soon I'll have like a full collection of, of mugs. Exciting happening in the chat? Uh, Why paint? Yeah, there's uh, more support for you too, which is encouraging. Uh, yeah, we're they, getting they really some need more support. Uh, 
food recommendations for 29 Palms. And Diane B. said, I'm really, I really am appreciative of Draw With Me. It gets me out of my funk when I haven't picked up a pen in some time. Thank you both. And isn't that just lovely to hear? That's how I feel, too. Yeah, me too. I was in a pu funk for a couple months, but I'm out now. <laughs> you were in major funk earlier this week. Yeah, but I've, I'm actually back, and I'm badder than ever. Yeah. It's, it's easy to get in a funk. It happens, you know. Yeah. It happens, but the older you get, the more you know that it comes and goes. Yeah. It's just the price of being alive, funkiness. I think it also, especially in your case, has to do with lack of sleep. That's a good point, yeah. Sometimes you, your body is telling you... Go to sleep. What was that book, that kid's book? Just go to sleep. <laughs> Just go to sleep. Go the F to sleep, I think was the name <laughs> <That's> of it. <laughs> The problem isn't falling asleep, it's staying asleep. I imagine we have other insomniacs in this chat. It's a family thing, honestly. My grandfather was like that, my mother was like that. And I've never wanted to be like drugged in order to overcome it. So I'd rather be grouchy and gloomy. But now I'm good. Maybe it was a time change, even though we didn't have it. It's good it excuse. still rearranged Draw With Me for us, because we published that on Pacific Time or Eastern Time. That's true. Um, all right, so Vi says, this is my second Draw With Me, and I'm loving it. It really helps... To just sit down, experiment with mediums, and relax. Get the stressing thoughts out of my head. Exactly. Thank you for this. Yeah, and that's kind of why we yeah, do it too, right? It's nice to have an appointment, you right. know, to be able to say, you know, on Thursdays, I'm going to do this each week. And uh, the people who've been doing this for many years with me. and um, I think we're about to have an anniversary. I saw it on the calendar. Is it, it might be, f is it five years? It might be longer. It might be five or six, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of amazing. So watercolor is it's just fun to keep building it up layer upon layer. You can go too far and it can get murky. Muddy. Murky and muddy, yeah. But turtles like the mud. That's true. I have a feeling this is gonna be a really good cavalcade of art next week. Oh yeah. Turtles turtles lumbering across the screen. There was one time when we did a squid. Oh, yeah. And I still think that was my all-time favorite cavalcade. I mean, it was just mind-blowing. And people did them mostly in just black pen. Because it was all about ink. It was about ink. That's right. And it was squid ink. <gasps> Zing! There you go. <laughs> that was the idea. Yeah, I think when we spend time on something, like, an, like drawing an animal, it does seem to be good results. It's time well spent. I'm going to get rid of this bottom part and just make this guy bigger. I hope that uh, some people will be a lot looser than I'm being and we'll get to see some really crazy turtles. If you're doing that, let me know, because I'm interested to know what you're doing. Um. So Yana mentions a time change. There, it definitely is, there's more than one time change, different time zones. Um, the way you avoid missing Draw With Me is you subscribe. Subscribe, get notifications. But I'm going to mention it again. We are pushing to get to 300,000 subscribers. And right now we're sitting pretty at 289. Yeah. So would you help us make our goal and subscribe. click the little subscribe button? That would be so, so 
appreciated. Yeah, tell your friends. I also apologize for because today I think some people said that they didn't get notifications on time or they went to the wrong place. And honestly, usually what I do is I set up the live stream well in advance. But today I ended up setting it up at like half an hour early. So running late. So, yeah, so YouTube just didn't have time to notify you. And uh, I apologize for that. It will never happen again. And if it does, <laughs> it'll happen. Yeah, it'll happen again next week. But um, but you have my apologies, which are far more worthwhile than punctuality, right? I'm seeing a number of people using colored pencils, ink tents. Ink tents, good. Yeah, I was thinking I might go over this with a bit of colored pencil too. Um, but now I'm going to put in the red. Orange. I would call that orange. It's a nice color. It's almost That's like you good. could put like a little pop of gouache there. Yeah, I think that color looks pretty good though. Oh. I mean, I put really, this is cadmium, so it's really, it is pretty thick. It is kind of gouache like. Let's get some colored pencils going. We have time, right? Five, yeah, five you've got 10, 10 full minutes. Right. Dan Bolton is asking, what is the prize for 300K? A poke in the eye. The prize is... More people in the world making art. And then maybe they'll be, you know, a bit more, uh, less funk. Less people in a funk. I mean, there are a lot of stressy things in the world. So if more people could just draw a turtle once a week. I mean, honestly, it is that, it's that basic. It's like... We've, we've figured out how to solve the world's problems. It's by subscribing to the Sketchbook School <laughs> YouTube channel. I mean, I mean, it's worth a shot, I think. Let's see what happens. I, I, how, can it, how can it be wrong? It can't, it can't, it can't make things worse. <laughs> it can't. It's sad to say, but it does feel that way some days. No, I feel great. I think the world is, is awesome. You know, it's my favorite planet. I studied medieval history, as I mentioned on this show many times, and everybody thinks it's worse than it's ever been. And, you know, it's just not. <laughs> it's just not. That's why she married me, actually, because of her love of medieval history. So she decided that, yeah, uh, that a f marrying a fossil would be helpful. Yeah, that colored pencil made a bit made a difference. I mean, can, it's just taking it to a whole level with these textures. Yeah, that's that's kind of I, and I, that's why I'm glad. You know, we don't even know if actually if she, if Monica Philpotts is in the is here today. I bet you she missed it. This is what happens when you when you suggest a topic. We follow your suggestion. And then you don't show up. I don't want everyone to get ideas about this and start emailing us. Like no, you can email us. Well, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna out you because there was one time when someone asked for a thing and you said you'd do it, and then you got busy and forgot. That only, it's only ever happened once. In it my happened life. once, but it created once a rupture, life. and it was not. It was like I was. I felt a bit uh, injured over the whole thing. <laughs> you did. I did. It. I felt yeah. like it was just, you know, it was an honest mistake, but at the same time, I know you're prone to those. We try to, we try to do what is right, but I'm too eager to please and, and too willing to say, bring it on. Yeah, you see, this colored pencil allows me to make these little lines, which I could probably do with watercolor, but um, it's nice with... And also, of course, because this is this is ink tense, which means that I can go back in and, and activate these with a brush. 
So. Do you think you will? I might. I mean, we're kind of running out of time, but. Do you think you're going to do any lettering on this page? Uh, I guess I should. I can't remember the name of this turtle again. Was it the painted something? Painted? Do you remember it was it was in the chat before? Wait, sorry, what was the question? I was the gaping. question. I was thinking somebody mentioned Taco Bell, and I totally my mind wandered off. All right, uh, I was asking for the official name of this turtle. Oh, red-eared slider. Yes, red thank you, Lisa. E red-eared. Red-eared. Mm -hmm. I can see it. Someone just said there are glitter magic pencils from Koinor. I'm going to find out about that. Glitter. That's kind of cool. Although glitter is problematic, isn't it? It's like... Not really. Well, I mean, it just gets onto everything. It brings, in your, uh, brings out your inner seven-year-old girl. Unicorn. Exactly. Bubble type. All those kinds of things. Let's do this bit in here. Then we can do some, write his name down. Red-eared. Is it red-eared? Red-eared. Red-eared slider. Red-eared slider. Okay. Some crazy stuff happening with this brush here. It's giving you, what do you call them, railroad tracks? Yeah. I kind of imagined you were going to make that word red. That would be obvious. That really did come out nicely. I have to say, if you had tried to do those railroad tracks with that brush, you wouldn't have been able to accomplish it. I did try. Oh. I didn't have to lie. <laughs> I'm going to try now, though. There you go. Yeah, and then you it won't happen. No, I just did it. Deb Smith says she has a red-eared slider tattoo. Uh. Send us a picture for the uh, pre-roll. fun with these railroad tracks. Kind of cool. All right, well, this is uh, slightly weird lettering for me to do, but... It looks cool.
Radiard slider coming up. All right, I'm going to close. I'm going to turn off this reference. Excuse me. All right, I mean that's it's pretty good. Fairly happy with that Radiard slider. I don't know why it's called a slider. Because isn't a slider a kind of hamburger? <laughs> is, that, is that is that the reference that they they would some sick biologist was came up with? It's like you know what? That's a tasty looking gator, a tasty looking turtle. It just slides into the water. I mean, obviously, right? I guess. I think I made his shell a little small. It looks like it's sliding, sliding off him. Maybe that's the idea. <laughs> I think you made it. It's cuter. It's cuter than the original. It's, it's the original is more of a smash burger. Yours is more of a slider. <laughs> the face isn't quite the same. Okay. Well, there you have it. Super cute. And you know what? Right on time. Right on time. Oh my God. How about the poll? So, yeah, so where are we with the poll now? Let's have a look. So the poll is... I'm just going to refresh my poll page. Poll. poll is... Whoops, that's me. Hey, now. Um, so I would say the poll right now is... is your. Oh, this is actually a, a turnaround... Whoa, Mutant Ninja. Yeah, so we now are at Gamera at 8%, Yertle at 24%, versus Hare at 30%, and Mutant Ninja at 39%. I would say that I, I'm calling it. Yeah. I'm calling it for... Uh, Mutant Ninja. I mean, Mutant Ninja should win, considering its supernatural, you know, radioactive powers. I was thinking more because it had a Smash movie this year. True. Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. That was very. That was good. All right. We managed to do a tie-in to Warner Brothers, or is it Marvel? Oh, I hate to. I hate to give them any airtime. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. All righty then. Should we land the plane? Yes, we are. We are ready to to do that. Um. So yes. Yeah, so thanks for joining us. We want to see your turtles. So please share them on Instagram or on Facebook or in the schoolyard, and tag them. Hashtag SBS draw with me. SBS stands for Sketchbook School. And um, tomorrow I have a new essay coming out. If you'd like to receive it, it's free every week and forever. Uh, go to dannysessays.com and sign up. I hope you do because, I don't know, why not? It's I mean, free. It's, it's free. It's email. But this is the email that I promise you you will never delete. People print them out. People post it. They do. <laughs> you made a book out of it. I made a book out of them. Um, I'll Teach You to Draw is my series of tutorials. I actually put up a new video this week. I don't know if you got a chance to look at it, but it's called, um, it's about your sketchbook toolkit must-haves. Like, what are the things that I recommend that you have in your toolkit? What, yeah. Sketchbooks, kind of all fun. the stuff. It's snackable. Yeah, and I go, so I went into detail and... Um, really talked about what I do and showed how I use them. So check out that. It's on this channel. And you would know about that if you'd subscribe because we would have sent you uh, a ref uh, an update, a notification that this is the case. But so also, if you, yeah, go ahead. What if you show up next week, you're going to hear about... Something new. Our brand new course. <laughs> That's right. We have a brand new course. Yeah, we're going to tell everybody about it next week. Yeah, it's, it's the first brand new course we've done in a, quite a long time. And uh, it is... We're excited about it. If you're, if you're a Sketchbook School fan of your, over 10 years of Sketchbook School, and this is a, a new, brand new course, so I think it's going to be pretty exciting, pretty fun. Yep. Um, yes. I see this. So, yeah, we'll see you exciting. next week. We'll see you next week. So, subscribe and hit the like again. Tell just, your friends. Just so the whole world can become a better place by, <laughs> by expanding, by getting everybody to draw. But also click that bell, because if you click the bell when you subscribe then you'll be notified. Like, YouTube will come. The chairman of Google will come to your house, knock on the door, and tell you to come and watch YouTube now. So, 
Oh, Lordy. Yes. All right. All right. See you all. Note. Thank you for, for joining us. See you again next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.